Today I'm going to demonstrate the procedure to get CADIA 4 up and running on a Silicon Graphics 02. This video comes as part of a request from XVGA Music Player Z, who watched my movie showing the 486DX4100 and saw this machine sitting next to that machine and requested me to fire up the Silicon Graphics, so I'm going to be doing just that. I have made quite a few videos of this machine in the past, showing its Blender performance, its Quake 3 performance, as well as its performance running the Silicon Graphics demos. However, the latest piece of software that I have installed is is CADIA 4. And a big thanks to GI Joe 77 from the Silicon Graphics community for enabling me to get the software up and running on the system. What you'll see here is the performance of the system in real time, so it's going to be a rather boring video. However, it does give you some indication as to how the system performs. Bear in mind that this O2 is a top spec machine. It's running an R12000 MIPS processor running at 400 megahertz. It has 512 megabytes of RAM, which is half the one gigabyte that it can have, but the RAM isn't a factor which is limiting performance here. So it's running pretty much as fast as it can. So if you're looking at getting an O2 with a R10,000 or an R5,000 processor, be aware that your system will be a lot slower than this one. So the O2 is an extremely cool piece of hardware, especially from its look standpoint. So it's one of the coolest little silicon graphics machines that you can get your hands on. However, it's certainly not the fastest. I would have liked to have shown you the insides of my machine in this video. However, because of the fragile nature of these machines, I don't want to start pulling any of the modules just in case it might cause some damage. So I want the machine to remain in pristine condition. It's pretty much in pristine condition, which is quite rare for one of these machines. So I would like to keep it that way. So here we go. I'm quickly going to take a sip of my coffee as this is going to take quite a while. Now that the machine is finally booted, I'm going to start off by logging in as root in order to set the system up to run Katia's license file properly. Before I do this, I'm quickly going to show you the system's HINV just to give you an idea of what the system's spec is. Okay, it's a MIPS R12000 CPU running at 400 megahertz and it's got 512 megabytes of RAM and it does have a dual channel display adapter fitted which I'm not currently using. Now that the system's set up I'm going to exit root and then launch the cat user account in order to launch cat here for. Thank you. 
You've just got to love it when the double click speed on the mouse is set too fast. This is now going to take quite a while as it takes quite a while for the computer to process the license file for Katia and then for Katia to come up. First up I'm going to load up the first model which I made using Katia 4. I made this model following a tutorial which I found on YouTube. The tutorial wasn't in English so it was pretty difficult to follow and there's not much information out there showing you how to use this software. There are quite a few videos showing you how to use Katia 5 but there's pretty much nothing out there for Katia 4. So it's pretty difficult to figure this out on your own. So this is the first model that I made using this software which gave me some sort of ideas to how to use it. Next up I'm going to load up the first model which I did on my own. I'm very into hi-fi as well as computers so naturally the first thing that I would try and build using Katia would be a loudspeaker drive unit. So I started with this cone assembly consisting of the cone itself with the dust cap and its rubber surround as well as the voice coil assembly consisting of the assembly itself with the voice coil as well as the spider suspension unit. This is pretty much it for the demonstration today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. The only thing that's left to do now is to shut the system down and this also takes quite a while.